Hello everybody, today we have Dell Latitude 16 inch laptop, model is 16-7640, it's an Intel Core i5 13th gen, full HD, beautiful screen, let's see what can we fix, upgrade or repair on this laptop, let's start. So we have to start with those 8 screws on the bottom. I already loosened them up, so it's not gonna take us too long. Let's see now. Lift up the bottom case. Use plastic tool only, don't use metal or you will damage or scratch your plastic parts. All right, that's easy. Here we have the part number for the bottom in case if you have to replace it. Now let's start with the battery. Unplug it from the motherboard. And this go. So pull it up. Now we have four screws. Let's take them out. Here we have the part number for the battery. Search for this part number on eBay or other websites if you need to replace it. Now let's take out the speakers. So in case if your sound is bad, then re consider replacing these two speakers. And speakers are connected and sold as a pair. All right. Here we have the part number for the speakers. Now, let's take out the SSD card. So it's that's a cover for the SSD. Take out this one screw, lift it up. That's our SSD. So we have to lift, lift it gently and slide it out. Okay. Now let's unplug all the cables. That's our Wi-Fi card here. Unfortunately, it's soldered to the motherboard, so you can't replace it. If your Wi-Fi doesn't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. Unplug gently the Wi-Fi cables, Wi-Fi antenna cables. Now let's unplug the video cable for the screen. Here we have the part number for the screen assembly for the video cable. Pull it up. Right. Let's take out the fan heatsink assembly. So in your if your cooling is bad or the fan is making weird noises, like grinding noise. Consider replacing this part. Unplug the fan. Be gentle when you 
leave the heat sink don't bend it otherwise it won't work anymore so it may be stuck because of the cooling paste which is in between the heat sink and the processor so be gentle all right the fan heat sink is out here we have the part number for the for it okay let's take out all the screws that are which are holding the motherboard and unplug all the cables One more here. Okay. Unplug the touchpad. Always, always close the connectors because they're very fragile. Okay. Let's see if it's coming out. Okay, let's take out more these three screws also. All right, the motherboard is out. Here we have the part number for the motherboard. Unfortunately, memory is soldered, so you can't upgrade the memory. You would have to replace the whole board. Same with the Wi-Fi card. You can also search for this number if the other part number doesn't give you any good result. Here we have again the part number for the motherboard. All right, uh, now we can take out the touchpad. Let's see if it's coming out. Okay, so we have to unplug the keyboard. It's connected to the touchpad. Close. Now we see another screw for the touch pad. Let's see, okay, touch pad is out. That's the part number for the touch pad. And if you need to take out the keyboard, you have to unscrew all these little black screws. All right, I took out all the screws. That's the last one. Now we can replace the keyboard. Antenna is stuck to the keyboard, so unplug it. All right, that's our keyboard. And here we have the part number.
Okay, now let's take out the screws for the hinges for the LCD assembly. That's our palm rest with the power button. If the power button doesn't work, you could replace it as well. We can take out this. No, actually, yeah, it should be. Yes, take out these two screws. One, And that's the power button, so you can replace that. Search for the part number, look on the cable. And now we have the screen assembly left. Usually you can buy the whole screen assembly so you don't have to mess up with the actual LCD. In case if you have to replace just the LCD, you can pry off the front bezel and then you have access to the screen. All right, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.